Hey everybody, it's Christy back with another video and today we are gonna continue the metallic watercolor series. We are rapidly approaching the end of the metallic watercolor series. We have two this month, two next month, two in May, and I think sometime in June, we're actually going to be finished with this, which is just crazy to me. So that's super exciting. Today we're gonna to talk about the Kiritaki line of metallic watercolors. So to my knowledge, Kiritaki only did these little palettes of six. These are the opal ones, and I'll explain why I bought them in a second. But recently I went online and I was like, oh, Kiritaki has a metallic watercolor palette. And I was so excited because I didn't think that they did it this way. And for me, I would rather have a bunch. I would rather have not individual little six pan thingies. So I did buy these and I'll explain that in a second. I said that already. All right, so we have these colors here. So what colors come in this Kiritaki line? So basically, I think that we're getting the gem colors and the pearl colors here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six gem colors. And then, well, there's actually an extra gem color. There's gem turquoise also. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, Pearl colors, is there another pearl color somewhere? No, but I think we get the pearl set and the gem set, and then there was another set that we, like we got two other sets within that, because there's 24 paints here. Now we did get opal violet, but that's the only one from the opal line that comes in this set. And so for me, I really wanted to test the opal paints because I have paints from Soho Urban Artists that are like this. I have paints from Yuli that are like this, and there is one or two paints from Scrim that I believe had this kind of like interference thing going on, and Daniel Smith had some too. So I wanted to just kind of add those to the collection, especially to test on black paper. So these are brand new to me. I'm very excited to play with them. I really haven't played with the Kiritaki Metallics much, and people really, really seem to like them. Obviously, price-wise, these are going to be kind of in the middle. They are a little bit more pricey than your budget-friendly brands, but they are not as bad as some of the handmade brands. I would say they're similar to what the Paul Rubens cost. I'll do cost at the end. I haven't broken that down yet, to be honest with you. But I do know that you get these nice full big pans and people really like those. So let's go ahead and get into swatching these, see how they look on paper, see how they perform and they act, and we will run them through the tests and see how they come out.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this video is coming out a few days later because I am under the weather. So you're going to have to bear with my little bit of a froggy voice, but I didn't want to wait any longer to kind of go through this information with you. So overall, I thought that this ended up awesome. So let's just go through. I The swatches are going to go this direction and then the very bottom is the opal colors. So let's start with the white swatches. I thought they were really, really nice and vibrant. Not as vibrant as some of the other colors that I have worked with. And there is kind of a sheen to these paints if you go in really thick, especially in certain spots and with the opal colors. But look at those opal colors. How beautiful are they? Just like so subtle and beautiful. If you were doing butterfly wings or dragonfly wings, they would be really, really something. So that kit being separate would definitely be something that you might want to think about. The flow was pretty on par with other paints that we've used and they definitely had a really nice pigmentation and you could even see separate colors when you did a jellyfish. They really shine on the black paper though. Look at how beautiful these are on black. I really like them a lot. The gem colors are really pretty on the white paper. They are also pretty nice on the black paper. I'm not a real big fan of this starry set in general. I think there are better gold sets out there, so that didn't impress me, this top row, all that much. But this row is really cool. The pearl colors are really, really neat. It's hard to pick up on camera, but they are pretty pigmented, both on the white and the dark paper, even though they've got really good pearlescence as well. And then these are the newer gem colors, I believe, and they're muted, but they're really, really beautiful. But look at the difference between these opal colors on the white and on the black. And like if you move it, you can see them on the white a little bit more, but they are really cool on the black. They turn out, they have this beautiful pigmentation and I really, really like this opal set. So overall, there are I think 29 colors when I did my, my testing. There is pigment information on the Kurataki website, which is awesome. They are not handmade, that's because they're made by Kurataki. They come in a separate palette. You've got this separate palette and the smaller palettes. The main big palette was $50 for this set of 24. And then a $15 price tag for each of these little guys. Again, they come with kind of a big footprint if, and they don't, and they come in cardboard. So that is to be considered, but that's true of all Kirataki products. So if that is something that doesn't bother you, then these paints would be no different, but you do get these very big pans of paint for the price tag, which I think is definitely probably a little bit more paint than a regular half pan, but um, it's it's comparable in price to what you would be paying for like the Paul Rubens set, I would say. Uh, you can get them on Amazon, St. Louis Art Supply, and Blick on white. Um, they get an A, but the, the gems and pearls get an A triple plus. On black, you get an A, but the pearls and the opals get an A triple plus. So if I were to go out and buy these piecemeal or in smaller palettes, I think I'd buy the pearl palette and I would buy the opal palette. Those are the two that I was the most impressed with. So the color shifting is the opal palette. It's a yes. I don't believe they have any holographic paints. The interference opal thing is just really cool. Great shine, large pans. Um... It's a pro and a con, depending on your needs. I said that large pans are both a pro and a con, depending on what you want out of these paints. So take that for what it's worth. So here's how they fall in the testing. They they definitely come near the top of the testing. Five out of five for shine. Four and a half out of five for versatility, mainly because of the large size. Because either you're going to like that or you're not. And the you can buy them single pan, but um, there aren't a ton of variety in the sets, though the sets themselves don't have a ton of overlap. So decent. Versatility is pretty good. Color variety, five out of five. I think you're going to get everything that you could need out of a metallic set if you buy this guy. Uh, flow, four out of five. Price, four out of five. Because like I said, I think there are cheaper options that do something similar on the market. But I do think that, you know, you're paying for pigment information. You're paying for Kiritaki's name. The pan size is unique. The consistency is unique to the Kirataki formula. So you're paying for all of that. And then I said pigmentation, four and a half out of five. 
because I think they're really pigmented. Some of the glitter paints are a little bit weaker than something like Yuli, but again, the price tag of these is definitely less than something like Yuli. So I gave them a 27 out of 30. I think that's what the Paul Rubens paints scored. We're going to go back and look at that once we're done with this whole metallic watercolor series. I'm going to do a video where I kind of show off all of the swatches together. But all in all, I was pleasantly surprised by these. I definitely think I found the ones that I like the best. The pearl paints and the opal paints are without a doubt my favorite of these sets. And I think that they are the most unique and offer the most um, bang for the buck for the price tag. So have you seen these paints? Have you seen this metallic set of 24 or was it new to you also? And what is your thought on these paints in comparison to some of the others I mentioned? I would love to know all of that in the comments below. And that's going to be it for me today. I hope that this inspires you to get out some of your Kiritaki fun stuff and make some art today. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.